Hi everyone, welcome back to Terry Enigma. Last episode, uh, we visited this place called Suncoast in Australia. They need tourism there. That was the side thing, not too important. Then we went to Mosque. This area is like controlled by a bunch of cultists by uh, Dr. Baruga, but his laboratory is here, so this is where we're at. Now, wow, it is dark. Oh, this music's good too. All right, so this is where we're hanging out. We're gonna um. We want to pay him a visit. We want to see what he's all about and what his goals are with the world. Because he seems like he's got some um, plans for everything. Let's see what we got here. Press the switch. Okay, so now we got lights. Thank God for that. Oh, it's probably... There's no enemies here yet. But we put the lights on, so... Hmm... Probably woke his ass up, honestly. Whoa, what the... All right, well, we'll just cut, cut down these guys in the meantime. Um, I have no idea where I'm going, but I mean, when you're in an area for the first time, do you ever really know where you're going? Whoa, come on. Strength down, that's not right. Oh, wow, it's really down. Bring me down to your level. Press the switch. Strength returned, okay, cool. Maybe this will give me access to the elevator. I don't know if the elevator was blocked. I have a feeling it was though. I think that's the reason why they took us this way. It's certainly nice to be able to fight things again. It's been a while. We had a lot of plot heavy stuff without any, uh, without any fighting. Chains are moving again. Uh, all the conveyors are moving. Huh. This is a factory, so what is being built here? Definitely not any kind of castle I know. We can't go up there, so I guess we can go all the way back to the elevator, since now the lights are on. All right, what we got? Though, you know, it feels like it would be kind of twisted if we're kind of helping things along to, like, the end of the world just by turning on these machines. What if that was the twist? What if that was the thing? What if we're, we're waking him up and then when we wake him up, something horrible happens because of that? Because we're too damn stupid or our main character is, like, dumb as rocks. What's with all the one screens? That was weird. Anything here? Anything I can do? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go, there's a duct. I knew that looked a little bit different, so I'm glad that worked out. Wow, if we're talking about advanced technology, this guy's got it. He's got robotics and everything. Oh, new enemies. You do projectiles? Lots of money. And we can push that. Um, but that looks like we can't do anything with that, so we have to go all the way around. Um, hmm. Oh. Teleporter.
Well, we can open up the shortcut. There we go. Wonder how much experience these guys give me. Come to think of it. Wonder if we're going through the teleporter resets them. Um, let's go in this one. Nope. Let's go in this one. That did nothing. It does reset them, so you can make this could be a grinding area if I wanted it to be. So all I do is like go through the teleporters like twice and then they change. Alright, press the switch. So we got something else that's gonna happen now. Don't know why these robots are attacking me. I mean, I guess I technically attacked them first. Stop. 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 Yeah, I guess I technically attacked them first, so I mean, I guess I'm getting what's coming to me, but eh. Whatever. Alright, we'll go down this way. Right? Oh, I do wonder what that switch, if the switch did anything on this floor, come to think of it. But do I care? Nah, we'll see if it, we'll, we'll see if we can go down a, fur, a further floor. Down we go. This place is really damn neat. Music super dope, yo. <laughs> also, it feels like it's flowing pretty easy. I like the design in it. Um, but it's not really hard to figure out. It's not like the Castle Sylvian. That area was difficult. Whoa, giant murder cube. <laughs> These guys are annoying though. Especially the strength down part. Die? Please die? You notice it's like when you kill him, you get your strength back. Cool. Probably gonna have to use a bulb soon. It's fine though. We got, we got plenty of health items. How do you... That looks like something you can walk across, but you can't. So now what? Oh! Alright, so there's a thing here. There's a teleporter there. Let's go in this one first. Always go in the furthest one. This is gonna be like Pokemon. Holy crap, that's what they're doing to me. They're doing the, um, what is it? Was it Saffron Gym with the, all the teleports? I think so. Whoa. Fascinated. Kind of annoying level design, but I get it. It's funny how the uh, gems don't move with the conveyor belts. All right, where are we at now? This was a mess. Log into database. Please enter the password. What is this? Login password. What's that about? Huh? This machine controls the systems in Baruga's lab. It's protected by a password to shield the data, so I can't do anything. If I don't know the password, eh, just key in what I tell you. Bloody Mary, wait a minute. Hold on. Why the hell does our little bat know the password to a uh, advanced computer system? That's worrisome. Elevators could 
and cold sleep device password lock disengaged. Whoa, we'll open on the first shot. Well, why does Yomi know something like that? Connect into database. All right, past history. Let's see what. Let's see what they say. Or we could save that for the next episode. So on the next episode, we're gonna see uh, what all this history is because we actually have an opportunity. So leave me a like, uh, leave me a comment. If you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button. So until then, as always, it's Rick Roku. Thumbs up. I'll catch you guys absolutely later. <laughs>